Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. I'm Cake. Today we're going to talk about what we pack and we're going to show you what we pack on our long distance trips. It is a lot of stuff because we ride big bikes. Oh, so yeah. we're going to get back to you because we actually have a two week Canada trip coming up and this is our stuff, our layout. We're going to show you that when we get back. So stay tuned. vacation so today we have out here our clothing this is the clothing side and right now I'm gonna go over it I have my tennis shoes which we rarely use because we always in boots and jeans we have some walking shoes some flip-flops in case we stop somewhere and I need to take a shower I'll have some flip-flops to walk around in the shower room. I packed three shirts and three pairs of jeans so does Rich. I have three shirts here. One long sleeve and two short sleeve shirts. Three pairs of jeans. Two of them are riding jeans. Two pairs of jeans are riding jeans. Back two pairs of socks. This is my first aid kit. My headband, my headgear, a hat to keep my head warm at night when we camping and get a little cold. I put my hat on. My swimsuit. We always around some water, so I don't want to get caught slipping. I pack my swimsuit. I also have my rain gear in here, along with my rain boots right here. My toiletry bag, heating gear. Most important, these are bike tools that goes on my bike. Rich has his own set of tools. We have cooling vests. Boy, you would really need these. Really need these in those hot desert areas that we normally ride in. You wet them, you put them on, and hey, you cool. What else we have here? We have gloves, another bike cover, lightweight jacket, two lightweight jackets, mine and his. And of course, we have a hat. When we off the bikes and it's hot outside, the sun is out, you know, we sports the Saints. That's our team. Who that? What else is over here? Safety vest. In case we have to be on side the road, <coughs> walking or we carry them when we're hiking, in case we take a wrong turn on a hiking trail, what we've seen with these loud orange safety vests on. Here's rich stuff over here. His flip-flop shoes, his tennis shoes, his two pairs of socks, his riding jeans, his long sleeve shirt and two short sleeve shirts as well as his lightweight jacket. He also has his first aid kit. So that's all for our clothing side of things and we're going to pack them in our motorcycle in just a few minutes. The cake just took care of the clothing. What well, I'm gonna cover our camping gear that we bring with us when we go on our long distance trip. But first, let me take care of this. We each have one of these things, the reservoir that we carry water in. And you'll see how we pack these on our bikes later on when we pack the bikes up. Another thing that we carry from Adventure Design out in the Bay Area, Northern California, specially made air pump is inside of here. So if you happen to get a flat, we all have our tools to fix our flats and everything, and we have the air pumps in here. So you know, out in the middle of nowhere, fixing the flat don't mean nothing if you can't blow it up. So make sure you invest in one of these, whether it's this one or a store bar. Now, when it comes to camping gear, I will start from the top. We have two tents. This big, giant six-person tent that you would say, how would you carry this on a motorcycle? We actually carry this on the outside of our motorcycle and you'll see how we pack it when we pack our bike. And we have a smaller two person tent that we always take with us when we know we're just doing a motorcycle camping trip only. We normally don't take this across country with us. Both of these tents are pretty inexpensive, come from Walmart and it's the Ozark Trail. 
moving right along here you see we have queen size sheet now why do we have a queen size sheet well you know we have a huge tent so we have a huge queen size air mattress we like to sleep in comfort and all this stuff does fit on the bike we both carry the two of us separately camping chairs mine is compact light hers once again Ozark Trail pretty inexpensive chairs for comfort when y'all are there camping now we're moving over here to our lighting equipment I'm gonna remove this from the bag and show y'all lighting equipment these things here are like gold they are magic you have battery compartment with AAA batteries just turn them on and you have an LED light I actually have one in my trunk that I light in my trunk when I open my trunk and I can see everything so our lighting equipment we also have flashlights and headlights also and while you're out camping you want to make sure that you're not boggled down with mosquitoes off or some kind of insect repellent we also have what's called the thermocell if you haven't seen one of these things they are pretty darn good easy to operate once you put your cell pack in this thing burns and create a dome to keep your insects around off and on switch bottle in here with the liquid to use pretty inexpensive also we purchased this at Walmart now on to our camp kitchen of course to cook food you need some fuel this just happened to be a Coleman brand you can use any brand you want with fuel when you use something like this which is the jet boil pretty simple to operate those of you who do camping you know that the jet bar is very reliable put it on top turn it on and light it need an ignition source yes carry as a small lighter and or if you're burning wood fires or anything that you need to light with we have a flint also just scrape it across obviously you get your sparks speaking of wood fires we have also another jet boil in here but speaking of wood fires we have a backup wood stove that you just put wood in and use pretty inexpensive however you need something to cook in we have two C2 Summit pots one is a small pot and one is a medium pot it's pretty easy self-contained stuff inside each pot we have collapsible cups slash bowls put our oatmeal in here in the morning we eat in this we drink in this we use two for bowls and the other two inside for cups and this is how the pot works ta-da and water boil in here pretty fast with the jet boil because the only thing that's a little bit is the bottom quick water from here we're moving on to what every camper must have coffee this cup this coffee pot is so experience experience how many years it have on this baby 28 years uh, 28 years we've been having these type of things when we was backpackers out here in california hitting the sierras going out in immigrant wilderness lake tahoe area a lot of camping with this we even still have our old cups our old coffee cup that we use with this thing and we're not major coffee drinkers for us we use instant coffee but we try to get the best brand we can get and we also have that we carry on our bike also an egg carton which we use when we boil an eggs and we take it with it and our utensils all our utensils and everything we have in here we also have a skillet which the handle to the skillet is a connect handle that actually inside of here what did i miss come over here a little bit more now you will wonder why Someone go camping will carry something like this, an extension card, multi-plug extension card. Why? Because although we have our sleeping roll, it's a Cedar Summit bag also, it's a sleeping blanket, not a sleeping bag, 
it goes down to zero. However, on those cold nights, and you know we run with the big giant tent. On those cold nights, when we retire for the night, the fire is out, we decide to go in the tent, and it's still freezing, we have a heater. We actually carry this heater. It's not the small portable heater. It's pretty big. But then again, we ride pretty big bikes, so we can have a pretty, pretty big heater. Have the safety feature on the bottom, so if it's turned off, tipped over, I mean, it actually turns off. And the heater is actually a fan also. So what we normally do, we would turn the heater on, and the tent would be nice and cozy when we get in there. And then we turn the thermostat to automatic. And so if we happen to get up at the night and move around, we're not freezing. So, that take care of our camping gear. What we're gonna do is show you how we load it on the bike in the next video. So it's gonna be a follow-up video, so make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we put that follow-up video up and all our video ups. We forgot to show them our camping drawing towel. Oh, show you this. It's remarkable. This is actually our drying towels after we get out of the shower. Once again, Ozark Trail, you can get any brand you want, but make sure you pick up one of these things. Super fast drying when they're wet. This towel actually dries us off after a great shower. And all we do is just hang it up to dry on any string that we have. We normally carry paracords with us there it is. for our campsite and hang our strings up. And we also use these type of things to make the tent stronger if we happen to be in high winds. You want to tell them about your sure. air hawk? My air hawk. Even though we ride the world's most comfortable bikes, sometimes after three, four hundred miles, start hurting. So I invested in the air hawk. There's all kinds of things you can invest in. A gel pack, get your seat custom like Karen has a custom seat. She don't need one of these. I'm necessary don't need them for short rides like weekend rides. For the long rides we go cross country, we had them 30 day rides, we had this super long ride. Make sure you check up our video when that we done cross country. I use the air hawk and it keeps me comfortable without any hot spots. Anyway, let's go over here and we're gonna show you the bags that we put all this stuff in. This is Karen's seat bag. We both have separate seat bags, obviously. She has a saddleman seat bag and all her clothing and stuff plus could actually fit in this seat bag. She loved the seat bag had it for at least two years now and she said she would go with the saddleman seat bag again so head over let me show you just stay right there. I'll show you mine I also have a saddleman BR I think it's BR 4100 which is 4100 cubic inches you want to show them inside no I got junk in here oh you have some extra stuff so <laughs> <laughs> all this stuff fit in this bag and all the camping stuff actually fit in the trunk and we'll show you that in a little bit in a follow-up video and we'll show you where we put the stuff and why we put specific things on the bike to make stuff fast this bag is was black it's turning great we i've been using it for three years uh, a couple things i love about the bag one thing i didn't like about it it was not water proof when we riding in the rain normally water just slide right over the bag with no problem but if you stop and you get a torrential downpour like they had when we was in Alabama we came out everything in the inside was soaked anything that wasn't in a Ziploc bag was soaked so and that's how Ziploc bags are your friend so there's a new one out the exact same kind but it's different and it comes with a waterproof cover so no matter what bag you get make sure you get a waterproof cover it will save you but that's all for now. And I have something to say. And all of this will fit on our bikes or in our bikes because we have four saddlebags, one trunk, and also, as he said, Rich said before, the two bags that goes on our seat for each bike. So that's why all of this fits in here. And one thing that's not showing in the camping equipment is our water filtration that we have when we're getting water out of the stream it kills the bacteria and any other germs that's in there keep us from getting sick oh yeah we carry a huge thermal we fill it up with ice and water that's the only thing we put in it water and ice 
and this will last for days and days and days so we get out in the area where we somehow ran out our water here and then we just use this and we drink out of this and it stays for days and days and days if you have room pick this up pick you up one of these things okay talk about it the water bottle it's a spray bottle for when we're out hiking like when we were in Utah at Arches, heading to Delicate Arch, it was hot. We kept ourselves cool with just a spray. Ah, and it'll cool you off, keep you hydrated. Till then, that's it for Boots and Jeans Rider. This is what we pack. We know it's a lot, although we very seldom wear the shoes. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that Comment bell below. for some comments below what you think of our gear. Anyway, we out. Peace. Peace.